Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back for some more Resident Evil 7. This time we begin Not a Hero. Um, this is Story DLC and it's after the, um, the main game. So let's start a new game. I've never played this. I think there's probably a, a higher difficulty setting, but uh, I haven't unlocked it yet since I've never completed this, so we'll do it on normal, and let's check it out. Operation Lurking Fear. Chris Redfield is a high-profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bioterrorism crisis over his lengthy career, and he wouldn't let me read, finish reading it. Fucking company. Is it ready? Can we begin? So are we after Lucas? Man, I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Oh, that door in the mines. Yeah, we never we couldn't check that. Interesting. No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. The connections? He's next on my list. Oh, this is immediately after we rescued Ethan. Cool. Alright. It's time for Chris. Putting Umbrella OS. All right, I'm in the mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact, but apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. So have we reformed the Umbrella Corporation? And what do we have? Tactical knife. The handle and blade have both been fine-tuned just for Chris. We have the oh Samurai Edge. AW model 01. Albert Wesker. An Albert W model handgun designed for the sole purpose of eliminating bioweapons. Packs a punch. And we have Thor's Hammer. An Albert W model shotgun decided, des designed for the sole purpose of eliminating bioweapons, semi-auto and packs a punch. We have grenades, general purpose hand grenade, the explosion is strong enough to knock down multiple enemies in one go. We have handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, a med injector, a fast acting medicine that when injected restores some health. We have briefing documents, a document outlining operation lurking fear. Operation Lurking Fear, primary mission, extract Lucas Baker. Location, Dolby, Louisiana, USA, Baker Estate. Threat profile, molded, alpha variant, others. Anti-personnel traps, lethal and non-lethal. Notes, due to the, the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of the BSAA will act as a bioweapons specialist on missions. Location update. Recent intel has confirmed that Lucas Baker is holed up in the mines near the Baker estate. Profile Lucas Baker. Suspected associate of criminal organization The Connections. Role unconfirmed. Holds vital intel regarding said organization. Profile The Connections. Criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black market. Limited intel on size, market share and members. They are the prime suspects implicated in the production and distribution of the E-series bioweapon. E-Series model Evelyn is present and active at the Baker estate. Lucas Baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activities. So... Is Luke... Hmm... Lucas is infected, right? And if Evelyn... So Evelyn was made by the connections? So does this, does this mean that Mia worked for them? And something else. So, did they just get um, in contact with Lucas? 
Hmm. Letter regarding Umbrella's goals. For many of you, this is your first mission with us, so we wanted to make it clear what Umbrella is all about. Though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetrated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated as a PMC in 2007. We will put a stop to not only anyone who is engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support those efforts as well. We made a mess and now we have to clean it up. By keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess and we want you to remember that you carry this responsibility with you in every mission. But Chris is still... Yeah, Chris is still a member of the BSAA. Okay, so we're in the mines. We actually have a HUD, so it's, it's kind of cool. I guess maybe this DLC plays more like an FPS, maybe? Oh, here we go. Yeah, get away. I like the iron sights. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing I still have to uh, scrounge for items. Oh! Also, Chris seems to run a lot faster. Let's switch to the shotgun. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type mutamycete. Let's hope those men. So that's how it's pronounced. Experiments. Mutamycete. Okay, nothing's here. Let's check everywhere. Haven't found any items yet. Oh, never mind, we found the grenades. I wonder how Ethan let that uh, just slip by him. It's our dudes. Get me out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. Oh, he has a. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Is that Lucas? <sighs> now you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Lucas, no! Uh... Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> now here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, the same goes for your little soldier brains, too. Adios. Move, chachos. <laughs> what a bastards. Fuck. Contamination. I'm up airborne spores. It's the E-type mutamycete. Your mask will switch automatically to rebreather mode. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Ah, okay, I see the contamination meter. So I guess it's going to be a mechanic. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. Don't forget about your oxygen supply. Looks okay, like we're cool. Of any contamination. You should head back and get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. Alright, entirely new area. Really? More contamination?
doesn't even let me explore the area properly. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. I know. Oh, are, are we going deeper? Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult, and to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back, okay? Sure, whatever. Okay, this feels like a, an area where we'll do a lot of fighting in. A lot of obstacles, fairly large. Handgun ammo, yeah, let's just find all the items that we can, because I anticipate a lot of fighting. What? There are anti-coins here too? You've got to be kidding me. I thought I wouldn't have to look for them now. Um, nine files, ten coins. Great. I hope I haven't missed any in the rooms that were contaminated. Because I didn't really feel like exploring all of that. Ah, and we have a save thing. An item chest. Let's get rid of the documents. And the coin. Oh, or maybe there won't be any fighting here. Maybe this is more of a central hub area. What the hell is that? Let's finish checking out this area, see if there are any items, more coins, more files. There seem to be a lot of doors. I don't know what this is. But I expect we will find out. Uh, is there anything up here? There seems to be... Oh, there's the cages. So we can get stabilizer for five. We can get steroids for three. And that's it. Yeah, at least we can get all of it. There's another grenade. Yeah, we just need eight coins and we get all, all, all of those. Alright, I don't see any more items. So I think I'll just save. We're not bound by cassette tapes anymore. So that's great. Oh, we need some sort of item for this. Okay, we can't use that yet. So, let's start with this door, maybe. I don't know how I opened it. I don't see any mechanism for opening the door. That's okay. Fine by me. Okay, so far I'm liking that the DLC answers some of my questions, like what happened to Lucas? Ah, two more doors, huh? This one has the same symbol that was in that lever. It's locked. It probably needs a special key. Oh, contamination. Great. High-grade filter required. Okay. Let's head back then. 
Apparently we need a better filter. You know, I kind of like that. Like how they gated an area, not behind the key, but that the, um, the area is too contaminated and we can't go through without a better filter. So we'll check this one. Did I see some... Okay, I thought it was a trap, but I think it's only a button. So, um, you okay in there? Redfield? Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. And Lucas has a lot of time on his hands. Another elevator? Yeah, we seem to be going up though. Mining work area, second floor. Okay, I, I don't like that there are more coins to be found. Feels like I'll spend half of our time uh, playing this, just looking for them. Oh, here they come. Oh, this might be worth the grenades. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, there's a... Another one. There's, there's a lot of them. Maybe another grenades. I was kind of wondering where all the enemies were. I think we found them. Oh, you're still... Still alive, huh? I think it's shotgun time. Really? They're still coming. Another med injector. I'm assuming these work like the um the first aid meds, which <laughs> Still a weird question how those work. I mean... Oh, antique coin. I mean, I'm assuming there are some high-grade healing uh, items that just cure your wounds, but... Then there's that cutscene that you can get during the main campaign when you're first running from Jack while trying to escape from the main hall. Uh, no, not the main hall, the dining room area. And uh, sometimes he catches you, and he severs your, your leg with his shovel. And then he just gives you your leg back and some cam fluid and, hey, reattach it! And you just put your leg together, use the fluid, and it's good as new. So I wonder what, <laughs> what that's all about. Oh, Selkie. Great. Yeah, so I don't know if that's a, a reaction to the to the infection everyone has. And I'm pretty sure Ethan is infected because he sees he has hallucinations. Nero stun grenades. What are these? Oh, paralyzing gas that stuns nearby enemies. So kind of like neuro rounds, but in grenade form. 
now we have a crank. I mean, I say newer rounds in grenade form. Those were grenades, but those were made for a grenade launcher. In, gr in a hand grenade form seems to be more correct, I think. It needs something else, really. Oh, it's another one of these doors. Maybe it... Mm, I was thinking maybe it connects to the other area we saw one of these doors at. But... Um, the map says no. I think this area is pretty devoid of items. Let's get down here. Hang an ammo. I kinda, yeah, check this. That's where we found the coin. More handgun ammo. We, only, we seem to get uh, very low quantities of gear. Okay, I guess we need that. It's very low quantities of handgun ammo. This ought to do it. And I think I've pretty much explored. No, oh, drop, drop it, Chris. Drop it. We have a fat man. Who's gonna? Oh, he's fast! Please tell me what I'm looking at. I have no idea. It's something new. Exercise extreme caution. Here, have some of that. Oh no, it's not a fat man. High regenerator, target unaffected. Great. How am I supposed to kill one of these? Maybe we can't. Run away! Oh, but there's that door, so we'll probably have to come back. Maybe there are, there are some weak spots we can hit. Kinda like the regenerators in Resident Evil 4. Hey, you're still alive in there? Everything's alright now. <laughs> no, it isn't. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just a bait. Well, you could have told me that before I entered the room. Oh, shit. Take the filter. I'm my mask. Hurry. But you'll die. I'm, I'm dead either way. It's <sighs> right, Chris. Just watch and learn. Oh. Lucas, no! <laughs> Okay, I can't stop it. So can I get the filter? Hurry up, Chris. Come on, Chris. I'm sorry. Lucas. We got the high grade filter. So now normal contamination isn't, um, yeah, won't affect us. Awesome. There's nothing else here. Okay. 
Okay, so now I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Air clear. Just remember we need him alive, Chris. Yeah, yeah. We could go back here. There is that whole area that required a high grade filter. Maybe I should have dropped off the antique coin. Ah, okay, it won't affect us anymore. Awesome. I mean, while it's kind of cool... What is that? Is that some trap or something? Locked. While it's kind of cool, uh, what's the point of introducing this whole contamination mechanic if we can get... Um, if we can nullify it pretty easily? Oh, what is that? Chris, this new white variation is extremely resilient. Normal ammo isn't going to cut it. I'm open to suggestions. You'll need ramrods to stop it from regenerating lost tissue. You're oh. going to have to fall back. Never mind, we can't get through there yet. We need better ammo. Okay, so it's not a question of weak spots, it's a question of ammo. Ramrods, huh? Let me guess, we're going to find them in this door? Oh no, wait, this is the one I've been to. That door. Night vision, what? Night vision device required. You gotta be kidding me, so now what? We need night vision to get in there. We need ramrods to go past that enemy that just won't die. Checked all the doors, right? Can I go back? No. So, how am I gonna do this? I mean, we have the filter, so if I have the filter, we should be able to go here, right? That's locked. That door up ahead is locked, and that's the corridor where we found that thing. Maybe we just need to go past it. I don't suppose... Oh! What did I do? No! I, f I forgot I unequipped the knife. I was thinking maybe I could... Break it, but no. Well, I don't see the monster. So maybe you were fine? Maybe it went away. Seems to be stuff here. Nero stun grenades. An antique coin. We can buy the steroids now. Maybe this is this is what we need. We just go past this area, we just slow him down. It's also locked.
And this area is huge. Is it, okay, it's another one of these. Oh, I need the night vision too. We, we, we're starting to need a lot of stuff. Oh, incendiary grenades. It might come in handy. Shotgun ammo. Night vision device. Awesome. Night vision device. This device adds night vision functionality to the Umbrella HMD system. The device uses image intensification to help the user see better in low light environments. It also allows the user to see light rays not visible to the naked eye, such as infrared beams. Oh, cool. Med injector. What's this? Anti regen ammo. Ramrods. Those ramrods should allow you to take down the new white mold variants. Good. White mold. These rapid acting mycedo to my mycedo toxin. My these rapid-acting mycetotoxic rounds, or ramrods for short, have been developed specifically for combat against fungus-based bioweapons. The bullets exc excrete a toxin on impact that not only rapidly destroys fungal cell membranes, but also prevents regeneration of lost tissue. One shot will allow for normal methods of attack to gain effect thereafter. Cool, so we just shoot one of these and then blast him with uh, regular ammo. Got it. Night vision mode activated. Oh, this one is unlocked. Oh, there's no items. Oh no, there's a grenade. Do we can drop down here? I guess. No, incendiary grenade. Anything else? I don't know if I should explore these tunnels better to try and find uh, antique coins. And everything is contaminated. What's this? Some switches. Okay, they're all green. Not sure what these do. Maybe it's some combination that we need. I don't know. Maybe we'll find something. There's no power. Maybe that's too... Yeah, this is probably a combination up, down, up to restore the power to the, to the elevator. Let's do that. So up, down, up. Here we go. Oh, what the hell are these? I don't know what they are, but I'll just use the knife. Man, at least we're, we, we are playing with Chris. With all his gear. Imagine if we were playing with Ethan. Great. 
More incoming. There's a lot of them. Let's use one of these. Where are we? Oh, we're on this side. Okay, I see. Really? More of these? Another antique coin. I guess it's time to test our ramrods. Wait, are you just dead? Okay, I thought we needed to do more shots to kill him, but uh, no. What the? Goddamn Lucas. Do I need to crouch? I guess we do need to crouch. Switch back to ramrods. Oh, can I use these? Yeah, we can. I guess we'll event yeah we'll eventually get over there. On the side of this door that was previously well, that is locked from this side, I believe. Those are normal enemies. It's using Sandieris. That does the, that does the job. And that is a normal one as well. It took me too, took me way too long to realize what the hell that was. If there are three turrets on the horizon, it's probably better to just look for a safer path. You don't say. Okay, actually, since uh, this is a checkpoint right before this door, I think I will end this episode here for now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed some more uh, Resident Evil Seven. And um, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.